Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and I have Matilda with me. I thought I did, because I'm watching uh, Persephone's wanting to go outside, but it's uh, like 35 below. No, not letting her out, but uh, Matilda is taking the lazy way to go upstairs, um, so she wants me to put her there. So let me see if I can get her to say hi. To say hi. Oh, the, no, you did it beforehand. Gonna try again. Say hi. Hey, say hi. Oh, you little sucker. Here. Say hi. Say hi. There you go. Okay. Ready? Here we go. You gonna go up or you gonna stay down? I'm not going to hold you up here forever. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right, then, come on. Do you want to go up? There. All right. Jeez. Woman. Women can never make up their mind. At least the women in the madhouse today can't make up their mind. And there's three of us. And, we're, and we all get along most of the time. Anyway. Um, today is, um, uh, <clears throat> cat hairs. Today is day 10, and I think this is the much anticipated egg, um, to open. And this egg is from Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. Uh, so, um, Day, day 10 of Eguary, and um, it's also Monday, so it's make-along Monday, and no, you may not jump from there. No. You have to go climb down Madonna or jump down on top of the recliner. You go over to the recliner. I don't know, you can't see her, but I think she's like somewhere up above me. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's right over there. It's going to jump down on the, re no, jump on the recliner. I know, I know. Okay, so for my first make-along that I'm doing, and I said that I was not going to join any more make-alongs this year. I'm scared she's going to fall. She is not the, uh, the, the gracefulest cat I have ever seen in my life. Oh, she just jumped down. Okay, well, come on. All right, you going to help me? You going to say hi again? No? You just want me to sit here and hold you? All righty, I can do that. So... The first um, make-along that I'm doing is with Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. And um, that is going by the ha uh, hashtag, hashtag ShutterbugAU. And I'm making um, the reading shawl by Ophelia Talks. And I love that shawl whenever um, I saw Linan um, wearing it, so, um, I decided to make it too. It's just that mine is probably gonna be a shawl only a mom could love, and only its mom could love. Um, and honestly, it's, in, in honesty, it is probably not going to be anywhere, or go anywhere outside of the madhouse, except maybe in the big house. Um, other than that, probably not. So, um, we are looking at pictures of, um, vaca former vacation pictures, I guess you could say, and we're picking two colors out of that. Can I, um, put you down for a minute? Oh, I see that look you're giving me. Go play with something. Okay, so, um, the yarn, uh, the first picture... Uh, was green, and I picked the green and the blue. And, uh, yeah, they don't really go wet very well together, but they, they're they in here. Um, this, this green is a Red Heart Super Saver. Hey, 
stop. And the blue is a Lion Brand Basic Stitch. I know. So I can put these back. Oh, I'm just going to put them right here for now. Okay. And um, that picture was of some buildings. Uh, whoops. No. Okay. Go ahead. There we go. Oh, okay. The other one, this is some scraps. Um, that was uh, pictures of flamingos. And um, I got a pink and a kind of a beige color. And um, I have no clue. This was in my scrap bin. Have no clue what it was. Yeah, so there we go. And I can put that back in the scrap bin too. But since it's it has a box on it right now, that's all right. So I am using a 6.5 millimeter hook in the process. And this is what it looks like so far. It's not a, it's not that bad, but I'm doing uh, four. Four rows of each one, except for the green. I did the setup part, and then um, now we're on the uh, on the two row repeat right now. Um, so that's kind of how the earthquake was. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, not the most graceful cat in the world. Okay, so. This is going on the shelf until the first part of the month. Huh, and I have no room on the shelf. So, okay. This make-along is with um, Jackie from Croche 80 HD. I will link everybody below. And um, I don't know if this has a hashtag or not, but it is called the hip to be square. And uh, I have not finished weaving in the ends yet. But, um, and I'll show you the other ones over there. But this is old Red Heart Classic. And I think I figured it had a 109... Um, I thought I wrote it down, but I might not have. 109 yards. But I used one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I had more than that. Really? Only six? There might be some more in that one. But, uh... Once again, I used a K or a 6.5 millimeter. There we go. This is what I had left from all of those six skeins. Okay. And four of these, the ends are sewn in. There we go. And yes, you know, I hate granny squares, but I started this before I did that double dog dare. I'm going to finish it this Finish making the pieces and then um, figure out where to go from there. Um, so, I can put those up there. These four still need to have the ends sewn in. So, showing you all the squares that I made. I don't know if you guys will remember them from before. So... There's all of the squares right there. And these will go right here. And uh, so, yeah, there's all the squares. <laughs> that's not even... That's like maybe an eighth of all of the squares that I will be making. So, I don't know which color is next. We'll have to see. But... Uh, let me put this back. 
there we go. So, um, yeah, I will be making squares all year, and then I will probably put this together next year. Because uh, I have pink, purple, orange, yellow, blue, all of the different colors that are in here. Um, and um, it took me forever to find a green. Um, but uh, I only have one of the green. Um, if I have to, I will uh, buy another one from like Mary Maxim or something. Uh, but um, I'm planning on using the green to sew them all together. That way I have Madonna um, all throughout my blanket. So there is that. So I'm going to put this, yes, over here. Okay, the next make along is from expression fiber arts from last year <laughs> and oh my lord uh i just finished round one of clue number eight no clue number seven i think Yes, seventh clue, I finished round number one. And um, I had the right amount. So here is what it's looking for. This is what was the first round. It was a single crochet, single, half double, single, half double, double, triple, double, half double, single, all in one space. And there was... Uh, 200 or 160 160 spaces that I had to put all of that in so this is what it is looking like so far my goal is to have this finished at the end of the year um the hardest part I think is going to fin be finishing round seven or um Clue 7, which is for the month of July. Uh, yeah, because I have three more rounds of this, of that clump of stitches. I think it's three more. And then, and then there's one, two. Yes, I have three more of those. And it keeps going up, I think. Yeah, it doesn't say how many are, are going to be at the end. Um, I'm not sure if this pattern is still free or not, um, but this was the pattern that we did. Um, it was supposed to have been from January to um, December and be done last December. I got through June. So, that's that one. My next one is... Um, a boggy creek and I, I put this under make alongs because we all seem to be making a um, a blanket I'm hoping that I don't run out of black yarn but I did find some um, and it's right and I have it right over there but it's just a tiny small portion I do have some more black that is in a that's in a kit and um, I really don't want to use that because then I'm going to have to go buy it again for the kit. So I'm, you know, if I have to buy some, I'd rather buy it for this one. So I am putting together squares and I'm doing the as you go method. Um, I am not going to have enough squares to put um, this together to be the right size. So, um, I will be making some more of them, but, um, I'm using, this is Red Heart Super Saver, um, that I'm using to attach them. Um, if need be, that's what I have left of that one black. And then I did find some Craft Smart value in black that I can use. I can stick that with it. Um, 
I did make some more squares, but these do not have their um, ends sewn in yet. And I have four more of these, of these cakes. They're Sundance Sweets in the color Lollipop. I have four more that I can make um, squares out of, and hopefully that will be enough. Um, and I am using the K. I love the K. There we go. 6.5 millimeter. So, there we go. I'm still making granny squares to fit or to finish this one blanket. It will not be done. Um, it, it will go in next year's. So, that's, that is that. Uh, oh, let me put these in here. So, there we go. I can stick that down there. So, but yes, this is what it's looking like. So far, yeah. So I'm trying to do as a, a little bit, at least, you know, during the week. Um, but since I have a year to do it, you know, it's all good. So let me put this down because I know you guys are e eagerly you guys are probably just telling me enough about the whips enough about make along Monday let's get to that egg so I have shown you all that there is and here is that glorious egg and to make sure it stays warm enough I still ha I have it wrapped up in the granny panties. You know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Do do you know? Okay. Potty jokes. I know. Just stop. Just stop. So, um, I don't know. It was a while back. Somebody did a thing about you know make whatever you can with granny squares, and I was like. Okay, with my weird sense of humor, um, I went there and I made granny panties. And I was actually going to make a bra to go with it, um, but I got tired of making grannies. So, I know some of you guys have heard about the infamous granny panties, but here they are. Um, no, they do not fit me, and no, I have tried. After You know, they fit me, but they keep falling down. So, um, and it's wool. So, uh, yeah, until the next, until May, when the eggs start coming in or April for, um, National Egg Month in May. Yeah, because I'm going to open up every single one of those eggs and find all kinds of weird, wicked humor stuff. I just know I am. So, um, here we go. I have been anticipating this. I have a, I kind of have a guess as to what it is, but um, I, I'm not 100% sure. Persephone has been keeping it nice and warm also. So, are you guys ready for me to open the egg? And boy, you know, I'm hoping in May that I get one even bigger than this one. Maybe a, a moose size egg or a oh polar bears don't lay eggs um neither do moose um you know in my mind they do so here we go i don't want to look i think i'm at the end okay so i can't i can't pull anymore which means, boy, you know, the anticipation. I kind of just like to put it back and never open it. Okay, here we go. What the world? I'm trying to... 
Okay, I feel some eyes and kind of like a hat, maybe. It's got wings and I can feel feet. It kind of, okay, well here, it's out of the egg. I still haven't seen it yet because I've been looking at you guys. It's got a nose and some eyes and it feels like it's got a hat on and some wings and some feet. What has wings? Okay, here we go. <gasps> it's a penguin! It's so cute! Not what I thought it was going to be. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I need to make sure that I hide this so Patrick doesn't find it. Oh my goodness. It is so cute. Sandy made me a pangy. Oh, he is adorable. Look at him, little feet. Okay, so this was a beak, not a nose. Oh, I love it. Mwah. I'm glad I finally hatched you. There we go. It's adorable. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm going to put you over here by my duck. There we go. All righty. I'm going to have to bring in all of the stuff from the other room, maybe in the spring. Um, so, yeah, that was the egg, the, the infamous egg that has been sitting here for, I can't tell you how long, but it's been a year or more, over a year. That much I can guarantee. So... Um, that is my make along Monday and the end of egguary. Um, unless I get an egg in the mail, I don't know. But as of today, as of this recording, this is the end of egguary. Um, and, uh, I can cut off my super special light until April. That, there we go. So, without further ado... Um, I am headed out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much, my wonderful, wonderful friend and cohort in crime whenever we were in Sarasota, Sandy. Um, it, it was kind of fun breaking the rules just a tiny bit, and we didn't get caught. <laughs> So, um, that's even, even mo better good funds. So, um, thank you, Sandy. Um, and, and, and it wasn't that bad. So, um, Matilda, Tildy, I don't know where she is. Oh, well, so, um, thank you, Sandy. I love you. And um, I wish I could see more of you. Um, come to Zoom sometime. Mwah. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Do you want to say bye? Come here. Yeah? Well, okay, come here. Do you want to say goodbye? I've never had you say goodbye before. Let's say. Oh, you have to wait. Here, say goodbye. No, okay, well, let's try this again. Mm. Okay, ready? Here we go. Say goodbye.